Hello. Hello. It's time for our daily update. It is Friday. Yes, it is. And it's the end of a week, but it is not the weekend. We have yet. spent a lot of time independently shopping today. Yeah, I went to Aldi and queued Aldi. for Aldi. You know, Aldi. I went to Aldi and did some shopping and I had to queue all the way around the car park for half an hour until eventually I got in and got that stuff and came home again. But was it all the shelves were okay when you got Yeah, home? everything was there. It was just it was just a long And then I to nipped in. to Costco to get some just a few bits for us and some bits for one of our friends who yep. were not going out and I had to queue again for hmm, 20 minutes. Just very strange having to queue to get into the supermarket, but once you're in there, it's nice and quiet. Yeah, and there was one guy that basically spent an hour, it felt like, trying to choose what yogurts to have, and therefore I couldn't get near any of the yogurts because you've got to keep your distance, so that was frustrating. He was a yogurt hugger. There's one guy in the queue who insists, he was just like, oh, this is all ridiculous, and then he insists on standing right next to me and talking to me and telling about how his daughter's got coronavirus, but it's okay, she doesn't live anywhere near him, she hasn't seen him, but it's all a load of rubbish. I'm like, that's great, but I don't want you standing right next to me. But what can you do? So, today's been okay. I haven't done, I haven't made any videos apart from this one, which has been nice. I've still done a lot of my work, but no videos, so uh, it's been nice to have a bit of a change. And the day goes so quick, so I did some work, had lunch, Went to Costco, cooked tea. I don't know, it just goes quick. Mm -hmm. The day goes really quick. It does. So. I went for a really nice walk with Maisie last night, just two of us. Went for a little stroll. I didn't do any exercises though. Wow. But I'm not allowed to. I did. Well, I went for a walk today, that was my first bit of it. I did a bit of my bike today. We had sardines again for lunch. Good old sardines on toast. <laughs> They're alright, I enjoy them, but I'm worried we will get a bit over them very quickly. Um, shopping, and that's it. So. Yeah, busy day and normal housework, washing, cooking, cleaning. Do so much more washing when everyone's at home. Yeah. Zach released a video about his uh, fire torch, which is quite scary. So this is the fire torch. Oh, that is quite a big bit that just fell off. But I'll put a link to that. It's quite funny. And um, well, that's it. we've got some questions. Yeah, go, we'll go. We'll plough through these. Uh, so first question uh, wasn't from today, actually, but oh, I totally missed it on no. Facebook. It's it's a question from Creely O'Grady. Who's Creely O'Grady? I don't know. Isn't it the lady that does your nails? Yeah, but she's not. I don't think she's O'Grady. She's called Creely's Nails. That's not her surname, is it? Anyway. Hmm? That's not her surname. What? Uh, nails? No, but that's what her Facebook page comes up as. I know. But anyway. I'm... Anyway, <laughs> so this one's from Creely O'Grady. Uh, who asked us this a few days ago, she says, what are you most looking forward to when uh, lockdown is over? Going, driving to somewhere nice to go for a walk and going sh like clothes shopping and going to coffee shops. Mm, yeah, I'm missing that social interaction thing. I think it's not as much that I love coffee, although I do, it's more just that like actually sitting down in a social-ish environment and just spending time with people and chatting to them without just having to talk to you guys and pretend that you're just the other side of the table when you're not. But yeah, so And it'd be nice go. to get back to work, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Okay, uh, we also have a couple of questions that came in on YouTube, which YouTube. is good. People have actually like understood how to do this, which is great. So uh, from, from Bev, yeah. is that your friend in North Wales again? It is, yeah. North Wales. Great, and she says, which of the seven deadly sins do you think would be the one easiest to commit during lockdown? What are they? Do you want to know what the seven deadly sins are? Yes. Great. They are lust, gluttony, greed, sloth. What's sloth? Is it, well, it's an animal, isn't it? I think it's sloth. I don't know if sloth's an animal. I would get it wrong. Is it sloth or sloth? Anyway, we'll go with sloth. Um, wrath, or is it wrath? Oh. Wrath. Envy, pride, and browse additional article <laughs> contents. Probably envy, because you envy the people that can go out. What, the people that are in the NHS serving, uh, serving no, people? No, but are other countries that have come through it and are starting to get back to normality. Mm, no, I, I mean, yes. Yeah, the biggest one for me is going to be gluttony, I think, just because 
I'm at home, which means there's food around everywhere, which is really unhelpful for me. Because it's like, oh, I've done some work, I'll have five minutes break now, and oh, look, I'll just eat one of those chocolate bars, or this, that, and the other. And Lara keeps letting me buy stuff we don't really need when we go shopping, which isn't helpful. So, um, yeah, so probably gluttony, I think, just because I'm not a glutton, but I just, I don't often notice that I've got food in my hand. There you go, then. We've got a question from Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Who we used to be at church with. Hi, Andrea. And she says... Hi, John and Lara. Loving your daily videos. A question for you on faith and religion. Dun, dun, dun. When and how did you become a Christian? And what's your favourite worship song and why? That's three questions, but we'll go with it. So, right, favourite worship song and why? That changes regularly, but at the moment, it's probably... At the moment, it is my fear doesn't start, stand a chance when I'm standing in your love. I don't know what it's called. My Why? fear doesn't stand a chance when I'm standing in your love. Because they're just good song words for at the moment. It's not pour it out. Pour out the custard. That's for you, Serena. Okay. Um, mine would be... You know what? I'm a big fan of Ren Collective. I just think their music is really inspiring and good. And also, I sang... Um, I remember going to church just singing My Lighthouse at a point when, I know it's not that theologically accurate, maybe, but I remember being at church where I was going through a really difficult time and singing, I will trust the promise that you'll carry me, etc. even though I didn't really feel it at the time, was a, a really significant moment for me, kind of declaring stuff that I didn't necessarily fully believe, but I was going, but I was like, no, I trust you on this. So that, yeah, so probably just reading collective generally, but my, my lighthouse will always have a special place in my heart. Next one. That's it. Uh, Those are the questions for today. Oh, no. When, um, uh, when and how did you become a Christian? I became a Christian when I was 16. And um, it's a long story that I haven't really got time for. But God just showed himself to be real rather than a fictional character. Great. And I became a Christian when I was... 19-ish. I'd been to church all, all along as a kid and then decided when I was 14 that it made no sense and so I decided to stay at home and watch the Waltons while my family went to church. And then at 18, around that time, I um, was invited along to another church um, that I'd not been to. And, by a girl. Yeah, by a girl. Often, there's Often the way. And um, I just, I found a whole load of people that seemed to live out what they believed and would just love people. And I was like, if this is what God does, I want some of that. And uh, yeah, kind of started a journey of chasing him. Did you have a question for your dad? Yes. Oh, it was, where is God in this pandemic? Is that something Everywhere. Like lines? God is omnipresent. That's easy though. No, but he is. God hasn't abandoned us, but he also doesn't always step in. Like, sometimes we have to deal with the consequences of bad choices and decisions. And, and Yeah, but it wasn't anyone's bad choice that coronavirus is around. I, th I think there's something to do with the way we've looked after the world. Anyway, anyway so, uh, so yeah, God <laughs> well, is still is absolutely still involved in our lives. Um, and want the best for us. Well, that's it. Happy yeah. weekend. Just to say, we're thinking, and we'll confirm this, we're thinking about on a Sunday, rather than recording and then putting it out on Monday, on Sunday we'll probably just do a live stream mm. on Facebook or maybe dun, YouTube, dun, but we'll dun. put details about that so people can actually watch us live and, and talk to us and we'll answer your questions live. But if no one tunes in, that's fine. We'll just go back to doing this every week, but just for a bit of a change over the weekend. But that's it. Enjoy. Have we a have good weekend. Going. Hope you manage to do things that are a bit weekendy. We yeah. Found that we found the weekend harder than the week, so yeah. hopefully yeah. it and will even, be okay. And even weekend. though it's going to be sunny, stay indoors. What's the... Stay safe. No. No. Stay, stay at home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. Thank you. This was a public health service warning. By John and Lara Mills. Dun, dun, dun. You are my sunshine